What's up, people? What's going on? Wayne Dupree here. Um, hurricane season is almost here, uh, and the time to prepare for it is right now. Now, when Car when Hurricane Ida hit the Gulf Coast, it destroyed countless homes and left many without access to food and, and, and water and well, clean water. Uh, millions lost power, uh, some for weeks. Now, the floods that followed the hurricane washed out roads and made it impossible for grocery stores to restock their shelves. Families were left hungry, um, desperate, and waiting for help that was slow to arrive. But what if you didn't have to rely on FEMA um, to provide for your family during the crisis? Well, the answer is simple. Uh, be prepared with emergency foods from forpatriots.com. Uh, they have delicious food options uh, that are specifically designed to provide you and your family uh, with the sustenance um, that you need the most. Now, food patriot, uh, for Patriot um, survival food kits are hand-packed uh, in the United States of America. They last up to 25 years. Um, they come packed inside with um, covert storage totes. Um, they include a wide variety of breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. Um, it, and it's if you haven't been to the website, you need to go to the website and check out the reviews. They're backed by thousands of five-star reviews that rave, rave about their this um, the, the taste um, and how just how delicious that the food is. Now, for Patriot survival food is just not for the, um, the natural disasters because in today's world of uncertain supply chains and unpredictable emergencies, it's more important that, well, it's more important than ever that you have a backup plan. Now, whether it's a temporary um, power outage, a winter blizzard, or, or rising food costs as you see today, you can rest easy knowing that you have a reliable source of food to see you through. Now, you can just go to 4 and use the code name Wayne to get 10% off your first purchase. Again, go to 4 and use the code name Wayne to get 10% off of your first purchase. Uh, now, remember that these kits, these emergency kits, last up to 25 years. And that's something that you can... That's something that you can put in stone. Just again, go to fourpages.com and use code name Wayne to get 10% off your purchase. And honestly, um, I think you'll thank me for it later. I think you're on mute. No. Oh, I can hear you. Okay. Hutch? Yeah, we're good. Okay, good. All right. Right now, um, Donald Trump. Well, welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Wayne Dupree, uh, the Godfather of Conservative Radio, Mr. Hutch Bailey Jr., and Mr. J.R. Robinson out of Muslim Soda. Right now, uh, President Trump is in a New York courtroom. Defending his name and his honor, uh, he um, uh, this. I don't know if y'all got a chance to look at some of these videos uh, today, but um, the first thing that's shocking everybody is that there's cameras in the courtroom. That's shocking everybody. Looks like the donuts uh, are good in the area too. Say again. Looks like the donuts are good in the area too. <laughs> Krispy Kreme's cops, on fire. Cops don't look like that here. <laughs> Just saying. 
I heard they're not going to televise the actual hearing, though. They did it oh. for the intro and stuff. Okay. Well, either way, still, um, you know, to get to. Um, Sad chapter. It is. It is. It is. Uh, yeah, it is. And I mean, I, honestly, I'm going to play a little bit of it, but um, President Trump, I don't know. I don't want to say he was pleading his case, but he was telling the media, he was telling the world, actually, because the whole world is looking at it. He's telling the world what's going on. And for little bits and pieces of that nine minute um, uh, uh, talk that he had, I mean, I mean, and, and believe me, I know that he has supporters everywhere. Believe me. But for bits and pieces while he was talking, Something was going through my mind. I was like, man, he must. I'm not saying he is alone, but he must feel like he is alone. You know what I'm saying? It, I mean, it, I mean the way, the I way that he that, was talking. All of, all of us feel that way. I think. I know I do. But the way he was talking, it was like nobody's really listening to him. That was in front of him, the media. He's talking to his enemies, basically. You know. Now, yes, he is talking to us too, but we aren't there. We aren't there in front of him. So, yes, he is getting that message out via the cameras. But it's like Caesar. Man. Well, I'm calling President Trump Caesar, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I mean, it it, it it just felt bad to me. It's it terrifying it, that they're going bad. after his business. I mean. <laughs> You know, they're trying to throw him in jail for a thousand years or whatever. They're they're trying to do this stuff, but everybody can look at that business and say, this is an American success story, you know, and... I always thought that way. Right. I always thought that way because of... I watched him when I was young. I watched President Trump when he was... When I was young, when he was helping out Mike Tyson and um, having those big, gigantic mega fights at um at the uh Taj Mahal in New Jersey. I mean, he he was doing his thing, you know. He was he was Donald Trump. And yeah, I know he went away, like we said, he went away, but it, he came back. Bigger, better, stronger, you know. And you got to admire somebody for that. But what they're doing to him, you know, I'm like, god Dog it. Now you got to look at this for what it is. They're doing it to all of us. Right. This is not just Trump is just the mechanism. He's mm -hmm. the first man in political history to peel back these criminal activities that are happening on our behalf. And, and, you know, the other thing too, it's not just America. Mm -hmm. You know, you talk about, they're going after his business. What about Mike Lindell? Right. What about all those truck drivers in Canada? That got defunded. What about Farage in the United Kingdom? This is happening in the entire Western world. We're, we're focusing on, on little rabbit holes every single day. They, they, they roll out right. another rabbit hole every single day, and it keeps yep. us from going, let's go back. Let's yep. go back and look at this big picture. Because yep. this big picture, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what happened to me over the weekend but a bunch of dots started connecting and it scared the heck out of me. I mean, <laughs> when you look at when, when you have not to change the subject, but it's all one Doesn't, subject. Mm -hmm. If you, when you have understand that in NATO, the UK doesn't do anything unless we say it's okay. Right. You got to know that you got to understand that that's the way the world is in the right. West. The UK says it's sending troops to Ukraine. Think of that. I mean, that is, that is a milestone that if we don't, if we don't wake up, our leaders in the Western world are freaking not the best and the brightest. These people are living on, I don't know what they're living on, but if you put British soldiers into Russia or into Ukraine, first of all, they're going to get decimated. Mm -hmm. They told us at the beginning of this, they could maybe field one combat division, but that's not going to work against Russia. <laughs> so what's the next elevation? Russia's having a nationwide 
nuclear war drill tomorrow. Really? Nationwide. Never been done in the history of the world. They've done it by region, but they've never done it. They're doing this across the whole country. And, and I'll tell you something that American leaders won't tell you. Russia is much more prepared for a nuclear war than we are. I believe that. Russia has huge nuclear fallout shelters. We have zero. We stopped mm. making them in 1962. We only ever made one in Seattle after the Cuban Missile Crisis. And in 1962, they put a highway right over it. Wow. So, you know, these leaders, I, I don't know what they think. I, I mean, if you have Putin putting his nation through something like that, they think we're going to strike them. Yep. Hmm. And, you know, when you have, we, we've got a huge problem. MAGA's got a problem that we have to get sober and we got to get sober quickly. And I don't know about the 2024 election because, I, I mean, yeah. right now we have, we, we got a problem and it's the GOP. Yeah. Yep. That's our problem. We yep. need a new home. Or, or first of all, we have to admit that. And, yeah. and you should be able to do that because over the weekend, 82% of Senate Republicans and 57% of GOP Republicans voted to continue Biden's spending. Yep. They took a little bit of Ukraine off. Don't worry. It'll be back. Right. right. But, but they totally capitulated. And now they're saying the, the Republicans in the House want to oust Matt Gates. Yep. I saw that. I saw that yesterday. And with um, with you speaking about the um, all of those that signed on, the White House came out after Biden signed it. And basically he threw uh, McCarthy, even though we know that McCarthy crossed the line, but they just added more fuel to the fire by throwing him right on top of the coal said, yeah, we look forward to working with him on the Ukraine package. Uh, you know, to send billions more over there. And I was like, well, God, oh, man. I mean, he's already under fire now for um, siding with Democrats. And Dems ain't, look, look, again, again, I know you watch the show. And I know we say Dems are stupid. And I, be, I mean, because, you know, we're making fun of them. We are, we are, we are. But they ain't stupid as what you think. They're stupid. They know they what they're doing. They know how to play this game. Okay. They wrote the rules of this game. They wrote the rules of the game. They're the oldest political party that's out there. They're the racist polit they're the most racist political party that's out there. They know where the bodies are buried because they put them there. And 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 this game that they're playing, they know how to turn brother against brother. They've been doing it for decades. They've been doing it. The brother against brother, mother against mother, uh, um, wife against husband. They know how to do it. All they have to do is put stacks in front of you, but more than that, they have turned they have turned the Republican Party inside out in Congress. I think it's it. time to leave. We gotta go, we gotta start another party. And I'll tell you, yeah. it took me a long time <clears throat> to say that because I went along with the BS for yeah, the last yeah. 20 years that oh no, there's no way we could do another party. You can't do that. You can't da, 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 da. Yeah. all these conservatives saying this. Why not, man? Yeah, yeah. Well, if we it, got 82 million votes, we could have a political party. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say just kind of two points on that. One with the zoom out talking about the Trump thing. So let's look at this in a vacuum, you know, at the at the 10,000 foot level. So 2015 Donald Trump was one of the most popular, successful, culturally iconic Americans ever. And he had a bunch of money. He chose to get into politics to fight back against the establishment, both Democrat and Republican establishment, to make things better for everyday Americans. How has he been rewarded? He's been persecuted. They, they have all these charges. They're trying to destroy his business. And even those on his own side that he should have counted on, the Republicans, have thrown him under the bus since day one. Going back to Russiagate, they knew it was bullshit. And now they're prosecuting lawyers for representing him. So what outsider is going to be able to enter the political establishment right now? You're going to say, okay, one, they're going to come after me, my family, my businesses. They're going to come after anybody that works for me. They're not even going to let me have a lawyer to represent me because 
be, because I, they know if I'm challenging the establishment that it's going to be rolled. And same thing that you see with Matt Gates. He's just speaking out against McCarthy. And now they're trying to kick him out of the house or kick him out of the party or whatever they're going to do. I mean, the establishment is the corruption. I mean, we even need to stop saying Democrat and Republican. It's just the uniparty and everybody else, well, right? I, I, because Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got and then you think, shining stars, and then the rest of them are just eighty-seven percent. Man, come on, you can't win like that, right? Mm -hmm. Well, and that's the second point I was going to make is if you look, McCarthy's been speaker for nine months. He's done nothing. He, right. you know, he had a debt ceiling where he had an opportunity to do something. He rolled over, got rid of the debt ceiling, and got nothing out of it. And now in this the, budget deal for the entire Congress, right? Twenty twenty-five. Right. Yeah. Think of that. There's no cap on the spending. And then in this deal where he had another opportunity to to stand up, he he just caved like they got all their spending initiatives for 45 days, except <laughs> Ukraine, which he agreed on the backside to put the Ukraine funding bill on the floor. So he's got nothing. And and here's where Republicans need to tomorrow, because even some people in the chat are like, hey, guys, uh, no, we shouldn't do a motion to vacate. That's the Democrats. Well, and there's, the some, there's some people on there that are Republicans in our thing that are following. But what you have to realize, the Republican Party is just going to be a slower descent to the bottom. They're not going to stop or reverse the trip to the bottom. And that's why somebody like McCarthy's got to go. We might take short term losses for it. But if we don't so, like you know what? The, the Republican Party has just let it go downhill slower than the Democrats. That's all that's happened over the last 30 years. The, re the reason why I've always said, let's just go ahead and do a third party. Let's just go ahead and do right. it. And so many people like so many people in the chat room are like, no, 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 we can't. We can't. We, you know, we, you know, we. We got to change out the people that's in there, but we got to hold the line. That that's the problem that the Republican Party has had since I've been correct. in there. That is, you want to hold the line with the people that's in there, and the people that's in there never leave. They never go anywhere, and they keep on screwing up. What I mean, it's gotten worse. The next the fifty Party people has gotten worse in, since I left the Dem Party in two thousand seven. It's gotten worse. The next 50 people in line for that speaker's shop are freaking worthless. Right. It doesn't, it's not, there's nobody inside that caucus that's going to come out and be a leader. They are not leaders. They are narcissists. They and, are narcissist car salesmen. That's all they are. They're not even smart. Well, and I if you look that. at the Joe Biden presidency, we're three years in. The first two years when they had the House and the Senate, they took us on a disastrous path faster. And yeah, now in they the nine months, mission accomplished. Yes, and they in did. the nine months since we've had some authority, we've slowed the decline to the bottom. We haven't reversed anything. We haven't nope. closed the border. We haven't nope. stopped the weaponization of government. We nope. haven't done any of this. They get up and give these speeches, and then they Think tell, oh, we passed these three laws that are never going to be enacted. Guys, yeah. do what, something. What's the main thing that President Trump that they're trying to say he's guilty of? interrupting a government function or whatever the charge right. is. That's what Jamal did yesterday yeah, or two days ago. He did the same exact thing. Pull, pull, pull in and push down. <laughs> you trying to open up emergency door. I've never an emergency seen an emergency door. Class. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I've never seen an emergency door where you have to pull in and push down. Usually you just hit the wall, boom, and and the door open, right? What's the what's the thing that's in common that every public school has in this country? A fire drill. Yep. Dude was a principal. Yep, he was see, a principal. See, I got to say, when that first came out, like the memes are funny and the story's funny, but I have stopped talking about it online because mm -hmm. it is a complete distraction. Jamal knows nothing's going to happen to him. Right. And, You're right. And I thought about that yesterday, too. I thought about that yesterday, too. Making memes about Jamal yeah. Bowman pulling a fire extinguisher yeah. so so that we don't pay attention that the Ukraine funding bill is going to hit the House floor, that they're yep. going to try to run Matt Gates. Think of that. They're going to try to run Matt Gates out of freaking Congress. When that I saw is, that yesterday, when I saw that yesterday, I was like, I mean – that's something that you probably could use for somebody else if they thought it was possible. We we're sitting there, y'all can do that. 
right. <laughs> you know, we're like, wait a minute. Y'all, I think, y'all, I think Florida would have a, a, a disagreement with that. They were probably, yeah, they probably, well, of all the corrupt have, uh, people in the house, you really like Matt Gates is the only one you're going to go after. Really? You wouldn't have um, DeSantis uh, <laughs> weeping if it happened. He probably, how about uh, him? Who did he go downhill fast? Yeah, now he's now he's calling people election deniers. <laughs> I got to say, else, I am, he, he said Romney, just, Romney and McCain were better than Trump because they won in Arizona. Right. <laughs> this guy's yeah. lost his mind. Yeah, DeSantis should have just started here if he really wanted to try. Like, he's taking some direct shots against Trump in the last seven days. Direct, man. Yeah. And that's yeah. fine. Let him. Yeah. You know, but it's lies, though. I mean, it, it is I mean, lies. And it it's is not straight up lies. He's like, yeah, well, uh, we didn't win in Arizona and we didn't win Georgia. I'm like, punk, you were <laughs> you were in Arizona. You were on stage with Carrie Lake, and you're saying that Trump lost it. You were there. And then I went back and I looked at many of his endorsements in 2022. I saw Nevada, that. lost. Maine, lost. Uh, Colorado, where Trump pulled the endorsement, and you endorsed him anyway, lost. Um, uh, I mean, it, it was a few more. Oh, man, it was a few more. It just wasn't that. It was just, I was like... The Sanus is another distraction. Right. Yeah. So are yeah, all those yeah, Keebler yeah. elves. It's nothing to do with them. They're, they're, don't even pay attention to them. They right, don't right. matter. Yeah, they're, they're just... Uh, the thing to worry about, the thing to really worry about is RFK. Because RF, it's it's becoming clearer and clearer that RFK is an op. You think his so? Son, his son's wife works for the CIA. This guy did internal research that shows him, pull, first of all, the, the narrative is never going to happen. Biden's not going to be the nominee. Right. Biden fro- he froze up again yesterday. He's not going to be the nominee. Did he really? So he all of these, years, all of these stories about really? how many, how many votes RFK is going to take from Biden are all bull. You don't have to worry about him because he's not going to be there. What the poll said was that if he goes independent, he sucks more votes from Trump I, than from yeah. Biden. That, he'll get all the never Trumpers, and he'll get a third know. of independents. I don't know. I don't know about that. I think. I think that he's just going to um, bring down votes on both sides if he gets. I think he's out there to stop Trump. I don't know. You know, you know what? Or is I saw Rich Bear as People's Pundit on a podcast the other day after he announced that, and he's going to pull the data. So I'm reserving my opinion on it until I hear what somebody like Rich has to say because I've seen both numbers saying. It'll pull from Trump. It'll pull from Biden. Yeah, yeah I have but too. the thing but is, see, Biden's not going to be the guy. How many will it pull right. from Gavin Newsom? From Newsom, right? Newsom, he run, look, look, y'all, he run in twenty twenty four because it's a loser for him. He ain't doing it. He he would do it in twenty twenty eight. Believe, oh, I, I mean, okay, whoever I'll take bets. Whoever it is, I'll take, whoever it is, I'll take bets for you. But the reason why I say that um, uh, that um, Kennedy wasn't put in to stop Trump is because uh, of Fox News. Fox News thought that they were disrupting the Democrat by bringing on Kennedy, right? Okay, you bring on Kennedy. You don't see him too much on Fox News right now. You really don't. Have you? Well, wouldn't know. (laughs) You don't watch Fox News. News. Right, exactly, right. But you you really don't see him too much on Fox News programming right now because DeSantis and all them are up there. So... They already have their Trump people to try to stop Trump. They they're trying to disrupt Biden, basically. And 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 Kennedy, there's a whole lot of stuff that Kennedy says that the right does not agree. Won't we, there's only maybe two or three things that the right agrees with Kennedy on. That's the bet, you know, the pot shot, the uh, you know, and uh just vaccine spirit, you know what I'm saying? So that's it. They don't really, I mean, unless it's the name and Kennedy wasn't a Republican. So, I mean, yeah, you know, they can. Yeah, I think, 
I think you can drop that out there, but I was like, mm, well, no. they're just throwing the kitchen think sink at that. Trump. Here's what you got to think about. Regardless yeah. of the individual, you got to understand that the entire government wants Trump out. So you can't, and you can't really trust these party lines. At least I can't. Right. I don't, I think the Republicans would love to bury Trump for a thousand years because he's upsetting their apple cart. Yep. So, the agencies are involved too. I don't know. It's just something I, I saw something about this the other day and Here's it made some sense with the polling. Luciano says Wayne history shows independent candidates always take votes away from the Republican. That's how we got Buchanan, Wilson and Bubba um, Clinton. But here's the thing that wasn't against Trump. Now, if you're talking about a regular Republican, probably, yeah, probably. But when Trump came along, he took independence away from the Democrats. Right. Okay. So, I mean, and he has a track record of being president of what he did for independents and Democrats and Republicans and everybody in the country. Well, common so, sense. He's the man for sure. He already has that. Now, with everything that's happening to him, you're driving the independence to Donald Trump. Not, I mean, his numbers are so high right now. Um, Kennedy's numbers aren't that high. Kennedy's numbers aren't as high as 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 Trump's are. And even if Kennedy got in, you keep on tagging Trump, hitting Trump, poking Trump, going after Trump. Trump's numbers keep going up. All the, I mean, and you know, he Trump Trump got in front of the um, uh, Trump got in front of that media today and went off on him, uh, calling him out. Not nine minutes worth of great stuff. This is a continuation of the. Now, with that, usually whenever he had been going to court, he hadn't said nothing. Today, that was Fox, said, right? No, that was CNN. That was the CNN. Yeah, I just but wonder why they used the Radio Shack audio. Oh, somebody um, recorded it from their TV. Oh, all right. Um, but uh, if you usually he doesn't say anything to the media, he goes in and goes in. Uh, uh-uh, not today. Not today. This this one he got in front of that, and he literally the, the only thing missing from what he did today was an offering plate, because that because yep. that was a sermon that he gave out there in front of those people today. He has it on record. Clip it, post it, put it on a T-shirt, put it anywhere you want to. It's there. It's there. So I mean, uh, you know, you can Biden this. Uh, um, 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 Kennedy that, DeSantis that, Nikki Haley that. This man is being attacked in front of the whole world. You're trying to destroy his name, like y'all said. You're trying to destroy his business, like y'all said. You're trying to mess up his family, like y'all said. Independence, they don't like it. They don't like it. Americans don't, real, real Americans don't like it. And Donald Trump Democrats don't like it. That's why his numbers are so high. He he even said that too. That I mean, I, I, I <laughs> they they just don't understand that. Maybe they do. And Hutch, you're right about the 2024 election. I'm the more I think about it, the more I'm like, if if they ever cancel an election, it will be next year. Oh yeah, it will be next year, and. They would come up with something. Just remember this. Accordingly, I shall not seek and I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. Who's I that, think Nixon? you're going to hear that was LBJ, but it's going to be Joe Biden. Uh, okay. 
That was yeah. LBJ after he won the New Hampshire or the Iowa, the New Hampshire yeah. primary, I think, but he only won it by four or five points, and he was an incumbent president. And he bailed. Yeah. And guess I who think came in next? So guess many who came twists. in next. RFK. I was going to say, I think they're going to throw so many is. twists and turns at us. It's going to blow our minds because I think they really thought they throw the first indictment of Trump. Trump goes away and his support evaporates. Yeah. And then yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. hey, that didn't work. Let's throw another one. They're at getting him. scared, man. Let's They're throw another scared. one. Let's throw yeah. another one. Let's go after his lawyers. Let's go after yeah. his business. Like, and he's what like, the hell is happening? Yeah. And, and he's like, I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and, and his supporters are like, we ain't going nowhere. Yeah. And in fact, yeah. more people are not, looking going, not our support. You this, not our support in jail. They're supporting right. him in prisons. <laughs> yeah. I hope he serves his first term in house arrest in the White House. I'm good with that. (laughs) You know what I mean? You want to go visit? Come on to the White House. I got my ankle bracelet on. Like, I'm good. I got no problem. Ankle bracelet. Yeah. Hey, she, look. I got a little ankle bracelet. (laughs) It's gold plated. It's gold plated. (laughs) I can't can't go anywhere at the White House. President Trump, knowing he had to serve house arrest in the White House. You know, <laughs> where do you see you want to see the shenanigans? The we shenanigans are going to be on the Democrat side. Oh, yeah. yeah. You watch that. That's going to be they're going to anoint somebody. They can't go. The, if they go the legal way, it's going to be Kamala Harris. Oh, they can't. I, yep. I'm telling you, they're going to. What, to go the legal way? They're going Kamala Harris. They All can. Right. Okay. You know why? You know why? Again, and, we're, and again. And we're going to go to break. The reason why they're going to Kamala is because Democrats, even though we say, again, that they're dumb and they're ridiculous and stuff like that. And even though we've all also said that they're smart as the Dickens, too, because they create a whole lot of stuff. They are creatures of habit. They're creatures of habit. They love to be the first at everything. They do. They elected the first black president, first mutt. He called it self-proclaimed mutt, but they elected him president. First woman vice presidential nominee, Geraldine Ferraro. Remember her? I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say it wasn't Kamala Harris. No, no, no. What wasn't Kamala Harris? Remember Shirley Chisholm? Shirley yeah. Chisholm was Democrat, ran for mm-hmm. president, black. Well, Angela te- Davis. I'm- no, she didn't run. She went to Cuba, didn't she? I don't know. She left the country. But, I mean, um, she's a, She's way, a college professor now somewhere. Either way, the Democrats go for the historical move. Okay? Now, you know, I mean, I still think that um, she will, she will, pro- now, it, it, everybody was talking about uh, um, Michelle Obama. Why? Black woman. Black woman, name. But what is it called? Has a name, too. <laughs> um, Kamala Harris has a name, too. And she's already vice president. And they can tell her what to do. If, if whatever they told uh, um, whatever they told Biden how to do and how to dress and all that stuff, they can really do it to her because of her background and history. All they have to do is pull up a whole lot of people that she's been with and been on the knees with and stuff like that. They got her. You know what I'm saying? They just need a figurehead. Now, if they pull out operation um, surgeries for Barack Obama's wife, then maybe they might make her. But um, ladies and gentlemen, you're watching the Wayne Dupree podcast here on Red Voice Media. Don't forget to check out Rumble with Red Voice Media. Um, we're still suppressed on many other networks, so make sure that you it, it's man, it's freaking strange, man. It's freaking strange. You wake up in the morning, you go to bed at night, and your ass is still suppressed on so-called freedom of speech uh platforms. It don't make sense. And and you know what, too? Hold on, what time? God dog it. I'm gonna take a break. When we come back, we're gonna have Roy, and then I got something that I got something that I want to talk about to the boys. Really. Attention, Americans! Breaking news: Biden's dangerous plan for a digital dollar is underway. 
Don't be fooled. It won't benefit you. Take action now. The Federal Reserve phased deployment of FedNow began on July 1st, 2023. Be prepared. This may catch many off guard. Your hard-earned assets are in jeopardy. But there's a simple legal tax loophole to opt out of the digital dollar. Reach out to American Alternative Assets for a free wealth protection guide and discover how to safeguard your wealth with gold and silver IRAs against a failing dollar and volatile markets. Visit protectfrombiden.com. This invaluable guide provides precise steps to transfer your IRA or 401k into precious metals without any tax consequences. Be smart. Don't let Biden force you into using the government's new digital dollar. Visit protectfrombiden.com to get your free guide and get started. Again, that's protectfrombiden.com. When I invented my pillow, my passion was to help each and every one of you. And 20 years later, all of your support is what keeps us going. Because of you, we've been able to create thousands of USA jobs and help millions get the best sleep ever. To thank you, my employees and I are bringing you a limited edition my pillow. The Giza Elegance My Pillow is made with my patented adjustable fill, the most amazing cotton, and a two-inch pipe cusset. It has four custom loft levels, machine washable and dryable, and you get my 60-day money-back guarantee and 10-year warranty. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get your limited edition 20th anniversary MyPillow queen size. Retails for $69.98, now only $19.98. That's right, get a queen size MyPillow for only $19.98. From all of us here at MyPillow, thanks for I, I see. Wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey guys. Hey Roy. How are you doing? Here we go. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. Wayne Dupree, Hutch Bailey Jr., J Rob from Minnesota, and our little brother from the new federal state of China, Mr. Roy Guo. What's up, RG? Hi. Hi, guys. It's a pleasure to be here again. How are you guys? How was your weekend? How was your weekend, man? Pretty good. Pretty good. You know, from afar Absolutely. off, like when you were in the in the green room, I'm looking down. I said, I know he's not wearing a Tesla shirt because that 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 looked like a T. <laughs> like that, that looked no. like a T. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is this is from T Fashion. This is uh, I think they're uh, dropping like new collections for autumn. Uh, they have new drops, and but this one is from the previous collection. This is uh, unisex long sleeve, pretty comfortable though. Well, I tell you this um, again. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Um, Hutch brought up something earlier, and I don't know. I don't know what G, um, G that uh, Hutch brought up. Hutch, um, talk about that uh, that nationwide that nationwide oh, thing. Russia. You had me. You had me flustered there for a second. Sorry about that. Sorry. Uh, that's all right. That's okay, uh, Roy. Maybe yeah, it, it would be good to get your uh, outlook on this. Uh, Russia is planning the first ever nationwide nuclear war drill tomorrow it's never been done before as you know russia is a giant landmass uh and when you see something of this nature you know they they continuously try to uh connect operations in ukraine with russia to the chinese invasion of taiwan uh and you know as a preempt and uh, they're doing this massive uh, nuclear war exercise under the conditions that they are, in other words, the, the parameters are they're already under military law at this point, martial law. And, uh, they're, they're, I guess they're going to go to their shelters. They have massive shelters. Uh, we don't have any here, uh, but then tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, the United States government is doing a, an alert here, supposedly yeah. on every single electronic device, out there that accepts uh, transmissions, regardless if it's on a silent mode or anything. I, I just wonder if if that news is getting out uh, to other folks, and what's your analysis of that? Well, first of all, like we were the first group and the only group 
told the world that uh, she is uh, planning to form and already formed this uh, new axis of evil with Russia, with North Korea. And also we analyzed, remember like weeks ago, that what's the consequences of this? And the turning point for Chinese Communist Party in Russia, it's, uh, it's not now or not weeks ago, it's uh, March 1st. Like uh, Miles said this uh, like before, like 15th before his arrest and uh, the burning um, of his apartment. Uh, he said this on live stream that on um, like in 24 hours, like the um, Chinese uh, Communist Party already sent people, sent folks, uh, operators to Russia to help to uh, fight the war. And remember weeks ago, we said after they've formed this new axis of evil, after they have this series of talks, uh, the consequences of this is really dire. First, there could be a proliferation of nuclear uh, weapons and uh, biological weapons. And second, all the dictators around the world. Now we saw the Taliban, we saw Assad from Syria, we saw uh, Venezuela and uh, Cuba. Uh, they all going to join forces because they see uh, this new, um, you know, UN, like replacing the the, uh, the old uh, UN, like it's not going to be the same. The world order is changing and she probably the uh, new world leader. And uh, that's also why she is trying to show to other dictators that, look, we can handle United States. And that's why she is still actively seeking to meet with Biden and offer help for his 2024 campaign. <laughs> Uh, just to like show to other leaders that look, we can we can handle this, just like how uh, he has been handling uh, this before. So I think it's uh, very dangerous. I think um, now, like we see, this proxy war is no longer the war between Ukraine and Russia. It's uh, the CCP is behind it, uh, behind it. And but the real problem is not like in uh, Ukraine, uh, you know, battlefield. The real problem is like we're still investing in. Chinese Communist Party. Remember, there's still seven trillion dollars at Xi's hands, and she is ready to confiscate it. Basically, we're funding our own enemy. We're, we're paying our own enemy to attack us. And right. if if we are not getting that level, we're not banning all the investment, investigating all the uh, enablers and co-conspirators, and you know the people who's been in bed with CCP, we're not going to solve the problem. You know, it's it's funny you you break it down that way because. We're doing so much business with China that fuels them to give them money to filter on the back end to Russia and North Korea for all these nefarious things they're doing. And, and, and we become dependent on them, too, because they're taking over the manufacturing and, mm -hmm. and all that. But, but you really drove home kind of a, a point I wanted you to expand on for the audience by this war in Ukraine, we have set up where all these awful people have nowhere to go but Russia, China, and that. And like we all we all understand like superhero team, like the Avengers or that kind of thing in American culture. But they are building the evil Avengers. They are building the axis of evil. And and this is huge because the the financial ties of these six or seven or eight countries, as you look at BRICS and beyond is is really remarkable and and it's growing very quickly from what i'm seeing well yes absolutely well if we if we remind if you remind me like the last time like or the first time we talk about the new access evil i think it was only uh one month ago or something and right. then uh, xi jinping is like purging his <laughs> own party and the pla like he arrested uh li shangfu his own uh, defense minister or anyone Who's, who he uh, not uh, trusted. And then, like, I think over 200 um, PLA, like, uh, associates, uh, Li Shangfu associates, uh, or Wei Fenghe associates, those are uh, the PLA. But, uh, like, remember, those uh, those people are controlling the nuclear weapons, like you mentioned before, right. like, the nuclear weapons, and also the uh, conventional, like, uh, uh, mid-range, uh, long-range uh, missiles. And that's critical to the uh, future you know, assault on Taiwan because the PLA and also like they're sending the same people, same folks going to Russia help uh, with the uh, Russia Ukraine war. And uh, also, uh, you know, it's, it's very, it's uh, very critical, very important. And then you, you're right. This is the growth rate is accelerating. It's not like we're uh, before 20, 2019 or 2020, like we see everything is slowing. And also like CCP has been utilizing the um, the this uh, conventional, you know, bureaucracy of the West, like they're moving fast. 
the meeting with right. the, the meeting with uh, world leaders and and uh, tyrannies and you know uh, those dictators like on a weekly basis or on a daily <clears throat> basis, right? And they're exchanging the technology. They're they're gonna cha- exchange you know uh, resources and kick out the United States dollar. And if we don't have this uh, this kind of impact globally, petrol dollar system. They're they're utilizing now the barter system. They're exchanging uh, you know oil with the weapons. Right. right, and then uh, now they have uh, digital currencies in in China, and then they're uh, internationalizing the uh, RMB, have total control of the resources, and like half they're controlling half billion, uh, half the the, the world population, like three billion people. That's uh, that's a scary, you know, outlook for all the you know uh, freedom free countries, right, uh, democracies. So that's mm-hmm. that's the situation. We must take action right now. I believe. And but now like we see a good uh, trend. I think uh, the uh, select committee on the Chinese Communist Party, the congressman the investigating the uh, BC firms um, here, uh, investing uh, in China, and he said everything is just beginning. And all the supporters of uh, New Federal City of China knows that this is Miles' slogan. Like when Miles first came out and uh, blow the whistle on those kleptocrats, he always mm-hmm. said that everything is just beginning, mm-hmm. and become a really popular and it really uh, has a deep meaning in it and because like in in china lots of supporters they online they're on a forum or on uh like uh, wechat they, they if they mention whistleblower movement or new federal state of china they will be instantaneously banned um uh, and but they will they will use the slogan instead so they will say everything is just beginning and the other person will uh when understand right away oh this is our comer it's even coming. in the song it's even in the song yeah, almost like almost like code language. Let me let me ask you a question about <clears throat> you seeing what is happening with Donald Trump, um, uh, and his businesses and stuff right now. <clears throat> Hutch Hutch was talking about um, that dot connecting earlier in the show. Roy, do you think G has um, G or members of the CCP has anything to do with? Uh, this pushing deeper of destroying Trump because of what he could do to China if he got back in office. Well, I believe CCP would do anything not to just de- destroy Trump or destroy any. De- it, it has a plan. Remember, it has a plan to destroy America. Anything would help America or anyone would help America to, you know, lead again or to get better or get great again mm-hmm. the ccp will try to destroy it right and yeah. we're not we're not just talking about like a personal advantage or like personal conflict or whatever this is their strategic this is the strategic goal for past two three decades to destroy so, america so it's you it's probably not a driving force this you know like he's uh you know Maybe there were three or three or four major people trying to take Donald Trump down. You don't think that um, one of them could be the CCP that is maybe funding this crap? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, they got. I'm not saying they got huge pocketbooks, but you know, they they got stacks to keep people funded to do stuff whenever they are running out of money, too. You know what I'm saying? Well, absolutely, because that, that's why Miles always said, uh, "Follow the money." Follow mm-hmm. the money, like, and also, um, you remember, like, now, uh, Xi Jinping is having this. Uh, he's already had this like draconian um, zero COVID law and also anti espionage law to push away all the investors. Now, I think they have a new law on Apple to uh, ban all the unregistered apps, right? Like, if for example, if uh, Wayne, you want to have an app, you want to listen on the app store in China, then if you're not registered with uh, the Chinese government, the Chinese Communist Party, they're going to ban you, <laughs> right? And then, you know, like, if you use VPN, it's, it's uh, unlawful, like, it's uh, punishable, like, they will reprimand you, and then they will ha- ask you to delete VPN or the or Twitter or YouTube or anything. Well, I believe the United States would do the same. They, they Well, what they can do is they just ban all the unregistered communication and also collaboration with the Chinese Communist Party. And that mm-hmm. will extremely, like, they will limit all the money connection with the Chinese Communist Party. And that will 
that will ban, that will, uh, you know, control all the communication as well. And remember, like, why Fauci can funnel all the money and the technology to the Wuhan Inst uh, Institute of Biology so that she can release the virus and later, like, use the vaccine to attack the humanity? Because it's like they don't, Chinese Communist Party never had any technology or, or, or money to do anything. They, they just stole it from, from the West, from Israel, from, from United States, from Europe. Right. And uh, to bring it back. So I think, yeah, that's that would be one way, I, I think, to uh, cut all the financial support for the Chinese Communist Party. And then Chinese Communist Party is going to implode by itself. You know, you sparked a memory here uh, when you said something, when you were talking about it was expanding and, and going faster as we go forward. And I wonder, uh, I'm personally of the thought that Joe Biden is an empty shell and somebody else is running them. And I get give mm -hmm. odds that it's the Obama team. And I was just wondering when Wayne said that about Trump, let's take that to the other side and say, if it's expanded so quickly recently, I think that's because this guy, they don't have somebody charismatic in the White House. They've got Joe Biden in there so they can do whatever they want to do. And I just wonder, what are the ties like? Have you guys uncovered any ties? And I know you don't get political, but have you uncovered any ties between the CCP and the Obama people, because it seems to me that would be the perfect marriage because China and Russia are not allies. They might be allies for this time period right now, but there was a Russo Sino war and everything. But I just wonder, uh, could they be more deeply involved with our domestic uh, problems uh, than we previously thought? Yeah, well, um, I think there, there, are, there are many. They're not just like a Republican or Democrat. We, right. we uh, talked about this before. Uh, but uh, if there's an investigation in all of them, I, I believe there are many ties with the CCP. And it's been normalized, right? We talk yeah. about, oh, China has lots of um, uh, people. Uh, there's a big market. And um, there's uh, this huge advantage, huge uh, opportunities for investment. And then it's been normalized to, to do business, to do businesses and to get benefit um, from it for all these elites and special interests. Right. And um, I think, like I said, if there's an investigation in all the uh, past transactions, why, like what kind of uh, a sexual relationship? between all those elites and, you know, certain, I mean, young girls like Wang Yanyi, like Wang Yanyi and Fauci. Uh, and also if there's a um, investigation oh in, you know, the bank accounts, like they have bank accounts, they have offshore companies, right? They have, uh, they have <laughs> stocks, right? If they have uh, benefits, they have, they have benefited, ever benefited from uh, all these, you know, listed Chinese companies. We mentioned that all these companies there, they, they fake their numbers and to pass the, uh, a counter standard in the United States, right? If, if there's a real investigation in all these companies, all of them should be de delisted from the right. American ex exchange yeah. because they all frauds, right? And we're talking about $1 trillion, $1 trillion worth of value of all these companies. Um, so, but still like the people at the Davos and the CCP and also the uh, co-conspirators and enablers uh, in the United States uh, government and also law firms, legislators, uh, right and the people a special interests of Wall Street and and people who have influence like like in Hollywood um, all those people who, who's been in bed with the Chinese Communist Party there should be I think uh, investigation and we are getting there uh, I think that's a good thing you know Roy switching gears a little bit I, I wanted to talk a little bit about our 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 friends and family over in China because one of the points we like to to dive into on this show is that, the people of China have a ton in common with the people of America. It is the Chinese Communist Party that is corrupting it. And so we got a ton of viewers that watch us from China and we, we appreciate and love and, and appreciate the struggle they're going through. But I saw an interesting piece on your website. Shout out to NSFCofficial.com um, that it was talking about the impact that the real estate crash is having in China. And it sounds like it's devastating to the deplorables in China. Can can you just kind of share with our audience what that's looking like for the folks over there? Yeah, ab absolutely. Last time we said, you know, uh, Xu Jiayin is under arrest, the Evergrande boss, and uh, Sunak filed bankruptcy. Evergrande absolutely is going to be gone. 
and all the other companies as well, like Pinan Group, uh, Alibaba, Ant Group, uh, Lufax, uh, you know, Tencent. Alibaba? All these, yes, uh, definitely, definitely. Absolutely. They, they're all going to go bankrupt. They're all going to, all the white gloves, all these, you know, people, the CEOs and the founders, they're going to, they're going to be disappeared or jailed or, or killed because mm. they all helped the kleptocrats and their cronies to steal money from Chinese people and also American people, American right. investors. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and, you know, Xu Jiayin tried to escape five years ago and he, established like 2.4 billion trust fund in the United States and fake hey. the, his divorce. He had a technical divorce with his wife just to, just for the convenience of transferring more money uh, <laughs> offshore and to leave the debts in China. So you're absolutely right, Jay. Like those, the Chinese deplorables and middle class who paid uh, millions of RMB to uh, to buy the, buy the properties. Most of the property is not going to and ever going to be delivered anymore. Right, so uh, the asset liquidated like dom dom uh, domestically must be repaid overseas uh, first, and it will go back to him and go back to the people he worked for, right? The kleptocrats, and uh, you know that that's uh, I think uh, the mo the most uh, the biggest victim. The victim number one is the Chinese people, and uh, Chinese people are just working uh, thirty years, forty years, and. Uh, they used up, you know, their parents or even grandparents' savings to pay for for a little box that not even there. So it's just seventy year uh, rental agreement, and it's, some of them that, that has really poor uh, quality. Like if earthquake come or if uh, if nothing happened, even like uh, over ten years, twenty years, uh, it will just uh, collapse by by itself. Like, you know, the the wall like falling down is crumbling um, because the because of the poor. Uh, quality of the construction and also the corruption because they've already embezzled the money uh, for, for the project. And we must ask one question, where the money go? Where, where did the money go? Right. Where's the money? You, can, you cannot just owe trillions of dollars. And like for, for Evergrande Group alone, it's $300 billion in debt. Where's the money? One cannot spend $300 billion. Where, where is the money? And where are the other $20 trillion that the kleptocrats stolen. Those are Chinese people's money. Our Congress might be able to spend it. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Roy, we want to thank you for joining us again uh, today. Um, how can people reach out to the new federal state of China and give our audience some last thoughts before we go to break? Yeah, sure. Uh, sure. First of all, I want to say uh, all this information, all these, uh, th these are not predictions. These are intelligence and information brought by the NFSC supporters and members inside China or inside the Chinese Communist Party. They're, uh, they're supporting us like covertly and they're risking their lives. Okay. And uh, we are not trying to prove that we're right or we're not trying to prove that we're our prediction, how accurate is our predict our prediction is. We're just trying to save lives. We're trying to take down the Chinese Communist Party. That's our so only goal and to save more lives. Um, secondly, I want to say um, lots of lots of us are suffering, or lots of our family members and friends are suffering from the vaccine injuries and, and the you know adversary facts. Uh, I think uh, go go together and go to uh, at Adeline A D E L I N. That's our supporter uh, doctors. That he she has a fantastic you know plan for alleviating all these uh, adversary facts uh, by taking artemisinin uh, or artesanate. Right, the, 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 we heard numerous, uh, you know, examples and stories of uh, alleviating, you know, uh, block clots and and, and cancer, that even that cancers, and that's and the those one that kind of that's the one that dissolves the spike protein. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. absolutely. <clears throat> and and the discoverer of uh, artemisinin won a Nobel Prize in 2015, along with another two doctors, who discovered ivermectin. So so please check it out. It's it's very important information. Roy, okay. can you say uh, that getter that getter handle one more time? It's a A D E L I N at A D uh, Adeline. Uh, her you. name is Ackley Spell. And also uh, you can go to my uh, to her personal Twitter as well. It's uh, uh, Roy underscore Guo 64. So I have a pin post that direct you to that post as well. And also I have the uh, plan like posted on Twitter as well. So you can go to uh, go go there as well. So also you can you guys can follow at NFSC speak 
on Getter and Twitter, and also go to nfseofficial.com. That's our official account, uh, official website. Thank you so much. Thanks, for those, that are, for those that are watching on Getter, um, you can, if you want to support the show, you can always go to uh, Twitter and click on the subscribe button um, and, um, and, and help us and help us um, out that way. But the biggest way that you can help us on the show is to share, share this program, share um, the news and share the, the information that Roy and his awesome team over there, the new federal state of China delivers to us each and every week. Roy, got to go. Thank you so much, my man. Thank you. You're right. When I invented my pillow, my passion was to help each and every one of you. And 20 years later, all of your support is what keeps us going. Because of you, we've been able to create thousands of USA jobs and help millions get the best sleep ever. To thank you, my employees and I are bringing you a limited edition my pillow. The Giza Elegance My Pillow is made with my patented adjustable fill, the most amazing cotton, and a two-inch pipe gusset. It has four custom loft levels, machine washable and dryable, and you get my 60-day money-back guarantee and 10-year warranty. Go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use your promo code to get your limited edition 20th anniversary MyPillow queen size. Retails for $69.98, now only $19.98. That's right, get a queen size MyPillow for only $19.98. From all of us here at MyPillow, thanks for We interrupt today's programming to bring unfortunate news. Biden's dangerous plan for a digital dollar is underway. Don't be fooled. It won't benefit you. So take action now. The Federal Reserve's phased deployment of FedNow began on July 1st, 2023. Be prepared. This may catch many off guard and put your hard-earned assets in jeopardy. But here's the good news. There's a simple legal tax loophole to opt out of the digital dollar. Speak to someone at American Alternative Assets for a free wealth protection guide and discover how to safeguard your wealth with gold and silver IRAs against a failing dollar and volatile markets. Dial 833, the number 2 USA Gold. Yes, call now, 833 287 465 This invaluable guide provides precise steps to transfer your IRA or 401k into precious metals without any tax consequences. Don't let Biden force you into using the government's new digital dollar. Call 833, the number 2 USA Gold. Yes, call now, 833 287-2465. Act swiftly. 833-287-2465. Chugging. Welcome back to the show. Look, um, Jay Jay is so um, focused on that chat room, he don't even see what's happening in the commercial. He's he's missing. <laughs> I was just trying to catch up on some stuff, guys. If you want to see something, is that the, yeah, that's the last commercial of the day. So <laughs> next time, if you want to, if you want to get a little giggle, no, yeah. I'm not going to bust on Mike. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But support it, Mike. Support Mike. Absolutely, um, we need some help. Yeah, exactly. Dude, they're <laughs> coming after him. Yeah. They they they're really good. Vivek Vivek uh, wants a smaller stage. <laughs> Imagine that. Vivek is like, we only need four people up there. We don't need seven. We only need four. It's a joke. That whole thing's a joke. They ought to disband yeah. the party. They, look, it's it's just like any... Trump said. It's like Trump said. You know, you guys stop this. It's how you can tell the the. Rep- this is how you know it's time for the party to go. Yeah, because they're all this time. Yeah, they're forcing it. They're forcing it prop probably because uh they're getting paid. Of course. They're getting paid. You know, they they don't want to turn down that money. You I need to ask both of y'all a question because I've heard y'all say it again, and I have a different look on this, but uh y'all keep going back to the Obama's controlling Biden. Somebody and is. I, somebody is. and I really need to understand that because he doesn't hold I mean to me, he was controlled. So, I mean, it's like 
And plus, he has a whole lot probably to lose and a whole lot, according to me. He has the gay sexual encounters thing. You know, he he has the he has a sordid past. He has a crazy past. When I say Obama, I'm not talking about individually Obama. I'm talking about right. Team Obama. I'm talking about the people, the communists that he brought in, the the uh, Samantha Powers, and and uh, uh, I, I I wish I was ready for that question. I'd have a list of them, but there's a yeah. lot of evil people that were behind Obama, all of those czars, remember all those czars, you know, they yeah. were, they were rough people, man. You look at the guy, Shikowski's husband out in right. Chicago. He was physically involved in beating people at Trump rallies. I but mean, see, the, thing, the thing about that and, and that team, somebody created that team, but I don't think it was him. Oh, it wasn't I, I mean, him. No, 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 it wasn't him. And, and the reason why, the reason why I say it is because, there have been many times that I've said on this show, he did what Nance Pelosi and Harry Reid told him to do. Sure. You know, and the, and, and the people that bribed him. Well, yeah. and if, if we're going to talk about the Democrat Party for a sec, there's a lot of similarities to the Republican Party. There is the financial establishment end of the Democrat Party that does all this stuff just for money. Joe Biden is a prime example. They don't really care about the stuff they're talking about. They're just in it for the money. You have the ideological side of the Democrat party that I think of Barack Obama is ahead of where they really want to fundamentally change America. Now, I think they want to destroy America. That's their fundamental change is because they think it's racist. So, so like Chuck Schumer doesn't really care about trans rights or any of that stuff. Chuck Schumer wants to get paid. Barack Obama wants to fundamentally change and he'll get paid too. So I think the forces behind Barack Obama are the ones pushing all this cultural stuff and the disastrous economic things that we, uh, that we're seeing because they know you, that ruins America. You said about, they don't care about race. They don't care about any of that stuff. No, their, their, their mission in the culture war is to destroy ours. Correct. And they're doing um, a good job. That's why uh, when they dropped the migrants at March's Vineyard, Brock didn't pop the doors and say, hey, come on in for a cookout, guys. He called the National Guard and said, get them off my island, you know. I want to talk about culture later on this week. Because um, I thought a question, well, I thought at least one of the questions that I've been thinking about over the last couple weeks about the culture thing, and I'm glad. I'm glad you reminded me when you say culture wars, but um, when I, Andrew Breitbart used to talk about it, mm -hmm. right? Because you have cultures, you have, you have culture, you have politics. And what do you say? Politics is up, is upstream. Downstream. 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 Okay. <clears throat> have you noticed that most times when you see conservatives talk about culture, they're slamming it. They aren't trying to not accept it, but they're not trying to work it into, okay, I understand, you know, I want to have some fun too and stuff like that, but we also have a polit politics side too. It's just a slam. It's just a hate a hateful slam type of thing where it almost makes it's like, man, those people are always unhappy. I mean, from the other side, if you're always looking at somebody who's always slamming what you're doing culturally, man, they, you know, they, they don't want us to do nothing. They don't want us to have nothing or anything. You ever think like that? I mean, I can hold that. I can hold that off because I have some other questions that I want to ask you, but we'll talk about culture later on in the week. Because, and um, thank you for reminding me. Because I actually I was going to ask you that last week, but I forgot. Um, you said this week uh, alarms on the phone or something like that, right? Um, yeah, there's going to be a there's going to be a emergency. It's it's not called the emergency broadcast system anymore. Right, it's right. called the emergency wireless uh, access or something like that, and supposedly. Every iPad, every iPhone, every Android, every computer, every right. TV and radio station 
and it's going to be loud. Right. It's going to come across your devices and it's going to be loud. And it's going to say, oh, there's nothing. You don't have to do anything at this time. This is just a, you know, like they, like they do normally with the emergency broadcast system, except it's more all encompassing this time. Okay. Well, let me go a little bit further because you're in Minnesota and you're in Pittsburgh. What would you do if you heard the alarms go off for real? Implement my plan. You have a plan. I do. Do you have a plan? And I probably and I probably won't survive it. I know that too. I was gonna say I'd grab my wife and my dogs and head out in the backyard and enjoy the last few minutes we had. I mean, not to sound bad, but we're up in Minnesota, and I mean, if you look at some of the areas where they'll target with like nuclear weapons, Wayne and I are in the target zones. You're in the target zones. Yeah, we're in the blow blowback zones though, because all the missile silos out in the Dakotas and stuff. They're going for nuclear nuclear reactors. Oh, I can see that. Yeah, and and. And being where we are, uh, you know, you know, you know, I'm talking about seconds of. Uh, yeah. And yeah. I'll tell you, I, I didn't know this when I was young, but we had missile silos on our hills because of our steel yeah. mills. Yeah. Really? And I was in the reserves in the unit that was in one of those missile silo buildings. I saw the silos. Wow. You know, it's something. Yeah. If you ever. Now monocle- we have nothing. Now we have nothing. Zero. Right. Not yeah. one ounce of pre- preparedness. Our our military and our government has failed in that area. Piss you off, don't it? It does. If you want to go down the rabbit hole, look at like potential targets for nuclear attacks in America, and it's uh, yeah. That's most of it, is, and most most of it is the heartland, for the most part. It's the heartland of America. Um. Okay, well, the scary so, part is that Russia has a plan to protect its population. And we don't. Right. And we don't. Right. Right. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Um man. It's a depressing man. show. Well, no, mean, no, you, no. You gotta, you gotta no, be, somebody not. somebody has to be the adult though. Right. And right. Un- unfortunately, and that, that's us. Right. And that's why and that's why I'm asking those questions, is because Somebody out there is like, okay, what would we do if that alarm really went off? I mean, when you're on a military base, you know what to do. We've heard that alarm through our exercise and stuff. It's loud. It's crazy. It's alarming. It's not fun. It's serious. It's serious when that alarm goes off. You can be in the chow hall and that alarm goes off. You, oh, 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 crap. And you, you're running. Okay. You're running to get your stuff on. Uh, I I missed that though. Well, and here's <laughs> here's what's scary too, I is if that. you think about our media and our politicians, you have this entire group of children growing up that thinks the most existential threat we face is the weather getting warmer and TikTok and and, and, and climate from change, from. and these kids have no idea how close we are to World War. III. No idea. No, most of the people in this country don't know. I'm right. convinced. I'm convinced. Yeah, I mean, if you walk up to somebody who, especially on the left or young people, and say, Uh which is more likely to cause us a dangerous situation? The war that we're in over in in Eastern Europe or climate change? To a person, they'll say climate change. Yeah, The glaciers are melting. And, And it's like, did you see the floods in New York? And it's like, you folks are insane. That's I because you that. that's because you didn't maintain your sewer system in your filthy city. Right. Yeah. yeah. At least and all plus, the shit got washed off the streets, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no more homeless. You know um, what, you know what I saw yesterday though cuz I have my my daughter comes over with all the kids uh-huh. for dinner. She started talking at the dinner table after we were done about about that alert I just talked about. Yeah, about the second one, the one here. And she based I think she might have said Russia too. I don't know. But I said, wow, did you hear that on the news? Listen where she heard it. TikTok. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. Uh World War, uh uh-uh. TikTok off the phones. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 the end of the world if that happens for them. Um but yeah, I mean they yeah. told her the, they told her the story about the 
about the Russian nuclear drill. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. But the media mm-hmm. doesn't do that. The media, I don't even think they ever said anything about it. No, I hadn't seen it until you brought it up. Now I'm the searching. Drill, I'm like, oh, it's kind of scary. The drill I heard about last week. But you, but you. but guess what, though? It just went over my head, though, because I was eh, 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 drill. But what you said about Russia, now that one I hadn't heard. And that kind of piqued my interest a little bit. And that's why I said something to, to worry about it. Well, um, another thing that we talked about earlier was uh, a question for both of y'all. You know, we talk about Pandora's box a lot here on the show and how where we are right now, because the box has been open, the door has been open. Even if you close it, you're never going to get back to where it used to be. But but Donald Trump, when he was in the office, he wanted to bring back manu- manufacturing to this country. Uh, do both of you think that this country, where it is right now, do you, do you think that this country can can do steel again? Can they manufacture? Oh yeah, right where we are right now. Yeah, you think it's natural resources? God gave it to us. Yeah, but we. I, okay, okay, all right. I mean, the people, the people will have to be adjusted. I don't I know was, if these. I don't know if these young kids could handle a steel mill. That's right. that's hard work. I was going to say, that's the full circle we need to do. We've created this dependence on squishy shoes, squishy shoes, service industry jobs. People don't understand that they can do things. So we've created a dependent society where a lot of people don't work or don't work to capacity. I use my steps in his example. Super proud of him. Screw off in high school. Screw off. Didn't go to college. Got out. Got his stuff squared away. He's 21 years old. He's making like 30 bucks an hour as a welder. It is a hard, shitty job and they can't hire anybody for it. But 30 bucks an hour, do the math, folks. Kid's making a great living at 21 years old because he's not afraid to work. He's not afraid to work hard. If you cut off the, the feeding of the animals, so to speak, and you make people be sufficient for themselves, and say, hey, here's a steel working job. It pays good. The benefits are good. You're going to work your ass off. And oh, by the way, you don't have an option because we're cutting off your free money and your free fall. And <laughs> well, yeah. Then, then we have the capacity because we got plenty of people. We got plenty of people looking for work. The question is, are they going to be willing to do that? Yeah, because you don't. I, you don't even have kids out there right now that are clean hotel rooms. They don't even you know? come out and want to cut my grass or wash my car. That's what I used to do my whole childhood. Right. Yeah. Uh, paper routes and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, not too at four in the morning before yeah. school. Yep. Well, the jobs that need to be done in America are the tough, I mean, dirty jobs, Mike Rowe. Like, that's the stuff America needs. They need plumbers. They need carpenters. Need I got to clean new- out the sewers in New York. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I have a, I got a new driveway port, a concrete, and I was talking to the guy, and he's like, if I could hire three that's more. Two. Right? <laughs> I mean, if the water ain't going away, there's a reason. It's all the poop. Yeah, Look, whatever. Maybe it's the homeless in the freaking sewers. I don't know. I, I always wondered why why uh, New York didn't flood all the time anyway, because it looks like the water is right up on the edge. It always seemed like the water is that um, the uh, the Atlantic Ocean is always up on the edge of or the bay or whatever they call it. Uh, but it's all, I mean, it's like, dang, Chicago, Chicago, the same way, but, um, yeah, just watch that place. Right. Just, just, you know, you were just, I wanted something came to mind when we were talking about whether the Obama administration was really in charge or whatever. Mm-hmm. Think of the idiots that they put around him. Buttigieg, Granholm, Yellen. I mean, these people are not serious people. Well, freaking, I mean, yeah, the yeah, Secretary we said that. State, yeah. whatever his damn name is. Yeah, these people are they're they're freaking slugs. They're weak. they're not even smart people. They're sitting there yeah. to be figureheads. Yeah, the yeah. worst are the equity hires actually in the oh. departments. Like we never even hear their names, but I mean they're rotting from the inside. Gavin Newsom told the country, "I am going to select a black female." He actually said that. And he got a black female lesbian from Maryland. I, he got the double check. <laughs> right. 
But I mean, you can't operate something like that. You can't. I mean, if you, look how many people that you count out when you say that going right out of the gate. When that's your number one criteria. It's, Not a it's single devastating. person in America should ever be hired based on their immutable. And, and let me make myself clear. I don't want anybody selected because they're white. Right. Mm-hmm. As soon as you start hiring and firing based on immutable characteristics, white, black, brown, whatever, you are destroying whatever organization yeah. you're doing that to. Take it it's to the next level. Blue time. eyes, freaking white hair, whatever. Right. It's all arbitrary. Well, and, and back, to your manu- back to your manufacturing thing, Wayne, the point I was going to make, I had a new concrete driveway poured and talking to the guy that owns a company, he's like, if I could hire three more crews, I'm booked out to the middle of next summer, but I can't find workers that want to do this job. And I'm like, well, how much do you pay? He's like, I pay like the, the new guys, like 23, 24 bucks an hour. And, and he's like, but it's hard, shitty work. Like it's tough. I'm out there giving them bottles of water and oh guys, thanks. And, and he's like, my business could expand. I've got plenty of business. I just can't hire anybody. So, but because people don't want to do that work, you know? See, we, when I was young, we used to be proud of doing stuff like that. I right. wanted a job. Man, I, I, I wanted to, a job bad. Me too. Yeah. I used to go to the bank on payday in my freaking construction clothes. Yeah. I worked yeah. demolition. I knocked walls and stuff down. And I was well, filthy. you saw a whole lot of people in at the yeah. bank in their work cl- paint clothes, just like you said, construction. You saw a whole lot of people in their work stuff. I was like, proud, wow. man. Yeah. One yeah. of the proudest things I ever did was eat lunch on the job. Yeah. 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 And well, you know, sometime I would eat eat my lunch before I even got to, got to <laughs> but you know what the, um I can say t- I I want to work so bad I got fired in the morning <laughs> of one job and before I got home I had another job I got fired at a job, job before I started working there <laughs> <laughs> the hell did you do I had a job I, at, a, at an amusement park Okay, and I, and I didn't start until three, but I had to get a ride out there with a guy, so I was there way before three at like noon. I got fired for riding the bumper cars for free. Before <laughs> I- <laughs> well, look, I got, I got, um, I got fired from the supermarket. Um, I, I got fired from the supermarket. Walked across the street to Hardee's. I mean, walk, walk, walked across the parking lot to Hardee's. Put my name in. <laughs> got the job, went home, told my where well, I got fired. What? What? But I got another job. Oh, okay. She <laughs> just said you got transferred. Right. <laughs> I got transferred across the parking lot. <laughs> oh, is that the same company? Well, no, but they sell yeah. beef. Right. There's I mean, food. I just love to see, and that's so crazy now because I say I hate money, but I love to see money going into my account. That was my money, you know. I didn't have to, because you know, my mom was already saying I was eating her out of house and home. So uh, she's like, "I bring in a, a loaf of bread, and his uh, Monday is gone by Wednesday." I don't understand, you know. I was sitting there eating bread sandwiches. Listen, <laughs> um, I said that I want to remember something. Uh, so I, let's see, do I? I don't want to talk about that or do I got this uh I got this email that was sent to us uh, uh, my husband cheated on me four years ago I want to leave now huh yeah I yeah I, you still I, cheating I don't know my husband cheated on me with a work colleague of his I caught them in my bed he begged and cried and told me that it was nothing I was so in love with him. And I didn't understand what this was happening to me. I thought he loved me. I thought he was happy with me. If you've gone through something like this, then you would understand how worthless I felt. I didn't know what to do. I didn't want to hurt my children who were three and four at the time. I was a stay-at-home mom and my husband, and I planned that I would be there until they were in school, so I forgave them. I didn't know if I really forgave them. But I chose to believe his stories and for, and, and forgive me. And it took me at least two years to be able to look at him again. Now my daughters are in school. I'm working. I'm back working for almost a year. It all started coming back to me like it was yesterday. I see him with her. 
and I'm going mad. I still love him, but something is broken. I feel like I should have never waited, but better late than never. I, I want a divorce. I can provide for myself now, and our children can live between my husband and I. My husband is very shocked now. He swears that he never did anything since and that he would never hurt me again. Our families are confused, too. When it all happened, they were all on my side telling me how strong I was, a good mother, but I am but I'm still good and strong. My children are still my first priority. And I feel that I can't be broken because I'm so very broken. What example am I setting? Men? That's the first <laughs> I mean, I, I go on Steve Wilco's show. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say we're doing the marital advice. I love this. <laughs> hey. The hey, lie detector you know I mean? tests out. There we go. You know, I mean, you got to look out for yourself. I, I, I wonder how old the kids are, but uh, I went through that with the kids. That's that's hard to do. Uh, yeah. It's real hard to do. Um, but you got to go with where where your heart is. You know, you got to go. It's up to you. Do you want to live miserable or do you want to be free? You know, it, it, you're going to have to decide that. There's nobody on the outside can decide it. There's, I mean, the the only wrong is that he cheated on you. Back then. Whenever, yeah. yeah. But I, and and I don't know. I'm on my second marriage, my final marriage. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know right now. I was going to say, I've had a, I, I've had a couple of marriages that haven't worked out. I've never had any of the unfaithful stuff on either side. Here's what I'll say, though, is I think for marriage, what I've learned, and Jen, wife number three, third time's a charm, love her, she's amazing. Uh, and we both have a better marriage because we both had failed marriages. And what you realize is that in marriages, a lot of times you fight over stuff that you really shouldn't be fighting over and things that at the end of the day aren't going to be a big deal. It doesn't matter who took out the garbage. My first, my first marriage was a disaster in that area. <laughs> right. Because one thing you got to understand, fellas, don't ever go into a situation, into a relationship, thinking you're going to change somebody. Right. No. Don't ever do that. Don't make that mistake. And the other thing is I had an old master sergeant tell me, uh, he married a woman. We we were both in Korea together, and then thirty years later, we met in Iraq. And he had married a Korean woman from Korea. And I said, "Man, how'd you how'd you handle that?" He had grandkids from this girl, right? Oh, how'd you do that? He said, "Well, Chief, let me tell you. <laughs> you can either be right, or you can be happy. 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 Words to live by." Exactly. But the flip side is, I think for me, there's things like I could never be with somebody I didn't trust. You know, so I don't like that. That's one of those things that should be a deal breaker. Like if I can't trust you, like, right. you know. Why set yourself up? Right. For me, you know, I've been married twice. I'm not going a third. Third time's uh, a charm, Wayne. No, 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 no. Lauren Beaufort, uh, give him a call. Wayne's looking. Now, that's date night at a theater, <laughs> at a theater with a camera. But um, you know, for me, for me, I would, you know, first off, I think that she she needs to go get some counseling because whatever decision that she's gonna make, she's really gonna need some strong um, person to talk to for this because if it happened a while ago. And you, you were carrying it. Now, both of the gentlemen said you do have to be happy because I mean, you can't stay in a, in a place that you're going to be unhappy with because it's going to affect the kids. Uh, the kids are going to see it, and I know from experience, the kids are going to carry it. Yep. And it, and it could affect their lives down the road, and then all of a sudden, you're the parent looking at them going through the same thing. And you're like, "How did you? Well, you went through it, mom. You know, and it, it carries like that." So, uh, for me, I would just say, pray. Well, you know, you pray about it, but you really need to go see a counselor about it, and then you also need to talk to him and ex and explain to him. And he, he ain't gonna want to hear it. He ain't gonna want to hear it because y'all are still together. You know, he's like, wait a minute, that was years ago. I'm 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 okay by you. I'm, that's that's where he is. He's not gonna see that, but 
Yeah, that that's some crazy that that's crazy advice right there. That's you know, okay, all right. Well, thank you for that. We're gonna mm-hmm. do the dating segment for Wayne Dupree, folks. Send yeah. in your suggestions. Wayne at Wayne Dupree.com. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting ready to roll out of here. We want to thank everybody for um, tuning in. Um, uh, again, we want to talk about the culture thing. Uh, and you remember Freedom Works? Yeah, yeah. Freedom Works has come out against uh, um, Matt Gates. Oh, of course, right. Freedom Works has come they out. They were against- co-opted early on. I remember. We that. got a lot of them in our in our chat too. I mean. He- you guys are are you okay with this Republican Party? Really? Yeah. What's the point? I mean, yeah. I mean, because if because it because if y'all are okay with what you have right now, <laughs> y'all, y'all don't need Democrat. no change. You might yeah, as well I mean, be a Democrat. And, yeah, and, and you're never gonna win anything. You're always gonna be third, fourth best, not even second best. You're gonna be third, fourth, fifth best. Okay. Um uh, Jay, give me some last thoughts. Really, one last thought, folks. You're going to see it this week. It ties into the House thing. Most people watching this show, the Republican Party's not your friend. If you look at Kevin McCarthy's term, he's had nine months. He had hearings that did nothing. He passed legislation that goes nowhere. He, uh, the, the DOJ is still weaponized. All these things are happening. They say things to make you feel good, but they don't actually do anything to make your life better. And that's why... It's important, I feel, that Matt Gates does a motion to vacate because we actually need to do it's going to be painful. There'll be negative consequences. But if we don't stop and break this Republican Party, we're just going to keep going down. That's right. And, you know, these people that are commenting in the chat, if they're not if they're not operatives of the Democrat Party, you people are the reason we're, that we are where we are, because this is what you do every time we try to fight back. Eighty two percent of Senate Republicans and 57% of House GOP conference voted to continue funding every single odious Biden administration policy, including destructive inflationary spending for seven more weeks without getting anything in return. Well, see you you tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting ready to go. Um, One thing, Matt Gates demands answers from McCarthy on secret side deal with Democrats. He should. Uh, he should. We should. We should want that. Everybody listening to this show should want that. But here's the deal. Um, I, I I wouldn't make that um, part of the deal to motion to vacate because uh, because of what's already happened. So if this is holding him back from doing the motion to vacate, no, no, this is no. He's already worked with the Democrats already. He. He's already did the continuing resolution when you said that you were going to do the motion to vacate. Don't don't keep adding on because it's going to make it look like you're not serious. Oh, they're going to make it look like Dem- he's going. To, Democrats are going to vote for him, and they're going to flip the script and say Gates is the one working with Democrats. I don't know the Democrats that have been on TV said he ain't going to save him. That's what I'm saying. Who save who? McCarthy. McCarthy. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So if Gates goes out there and does a motion to vacate, the Democrats are going. Some Democrats are going to back that, and the Rhinos are going to say Gates is the one working with the Democrats. I don't know. It's a it's a war. It's a civil war that we got to we got yeah. to engage in. Got to yeah. understand that it's happening too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, y'all. See you tomorrow.